Okay, hello everybody. Uh, let's continue to uh, driving MCR for uh, concentrate loading case. This is uh, simply supported beam subjected to concentrate uh, load P at mid length. Then uh, you have that uh, reaction P over 2, P over 2. The coordinate system is X. Y and G. If you see this section, original one is here. And then P increase, you have some displacement, right? Vertical displacement. It is load displacement relationship. If P uh, reach to PCR, then lateral torsional buckling occur like this. So this beam has uh, lateral displacement as well as rotational angle. Okay, so we call it lateral torsional buckling. Let's look at the free body diagram of this beam. As I mentioned uh, at the last week, this lateral torsional buckling problem is three dimensional. If you see here, some vertical load applied, uh, concentric load applied at P, mid span. Mid span lateral displacement corresponding to S axis here is called UM. Vertical displacement VM. And then in the case we have the vertical reaction P over 2. And when we consider the displacement at this mid length, you have P times UM. You have some torsional moment here. Why? Due to P times U. M uh, against the Z axis, right? So you have the reaction this axis, this direction. So P U M over two. The other end, you also have the same resistance torsional reaction P U M over two here also. But this is a free body diagram. We just draw uh, this from here and up to here. You must keep in mind some. Coordinate system here x, y, g from mid span, not this uh, support point. And then you consider the free body diagram up to here. So here you have the lateral displacement u, right? And the vertical displacement v. And you have this torsional angle, gamma. Then your coordinate, global coordinate is x, y, g. Your local coordinate is x prime, y prime, and z prime. That is local coordinate. And you have uh, m external moment here uh, due to your uh, p over 2 here and then p here. If you uh, consider equilibrium, m external moment equal p over 2 times this length l over 2 and z due to this p minus p this length z that is m external moment due to p over 2 and p so resulting equation is this one we don't have any m y external y direction is this one we don't have any moment against y direction and then m z external this one from uh, this one and this one and that one. These three component cause MZ external. So we can uh, get the MZ external by establishing uh, equilibrium equation against Z axis. Then MZ external is PUM over 2 minus P over 2 times U moment arm and the P the moment arm is U M minus U right yeah against this point so P U M minus U yeah, this equation torsional moment direction like this okay due to this one and this one is opposite direction so it is minus so resulting equation is this okay you get the MX external MI external MZ external here against the global coordinate system so uh, you have to get mx my mz of a local coordinate system so let's calculate a uh, moment of a local coordinate system the same as the last week we have to divide into three plane uh, xy plane yz plane zx plane 
to get the moment of local coordinate system. Uh, it is, uh, as I mentioned, um, it is 3D problem, but in this uh, 3D figure, uh, it is uh, very difficult to get the moment of local coordinate system. So we divide into three uh, planes uh, to easily calculate the moment of local coordinate system from moment of global coordinate system. So let's get x, y plane. That is x, y. That is y plane. Yeah, this plane. So x, y plane. Then this x direction is a little downward. So x bar direction is a little downward. Then y bar is uh, automatically this direction because this angle maintains 90 degree. Here, uh, do you have mx? Yeah, you have mx and mz. So uh, here you have mx. You don't have any mi. You draw some moment of global coordinate system, mx external, right? And then let's calculate the moment of local coordinate system. mx can be divided into mx prime and mi prime. So mx prime external equal mx uh, external. This angle is gamma, right? This xy plane, the angle, this gamma. As you see, vertical y and local coordinate y prime, that is gamma. So mx prime external equal uh, mx external cosine gamma, right? That is mx external because small deflection theory. And then how about my prime external? Equal as you see, it is the opposite direction of y prime axis. So minus, minus mx external sine relationship, sine gamma, minus mx external gamma. Let's look at yz plane. Yz plane, what is yz? Yz. This plane, global coordinate is y, z, and then z prime is upward direction. So z prime is upward direction. Then y prime is this direction. So what is this angle? That is, this is t, z. The vertical direction is v because the displacement is y direction. So d v over d z. That is the angle. This is minus because the v direction is upward but y uh, axis is the opposite direction so minus here dz dv minus dv over dz equal minus dv dz is v prime so uh, yz plane this plane you have uh, y equal zero you have mz external so you draw mz external here regarding some global axis and then you can divide it into these two mz prime external and y prime external corresponding to local coordinate system so my prime external equal mz external sine direction sine minus v prime so minus mz v prime like that and mz prime equal mz external cosine minus v so that is cosine minus v equal 1 mz external. We get the, this relationship. Let's look at the zx plane. What is that? zx. zx. It is the uh, horizontal plane. You have mx, mz here. So zx. Global coordinate. z prime. A little above direction. x prime. So uh, z prime x prime this angle equal dz minus du right because of the opposite direction in z axis so that is minus u prime so minus u prime so this is the same angle so minus u prime okay so you have the uh, mx external right from this mx external you can calculate mx prime external so this mx prime external you have here you have a component here and the here you have two mx prime external equal mx external cosine minus u prime plus mz external sine minus u prime the resulting equation is this one how about the mz prime external you have two components one and two right so uh, mz prime external equal mx external sine direction sine minus u prime 
uh, z prime is this direction but this component is the opposite direction so minus must be and then you have also here mz prime external component so mz times cosine u prime resulting equation is this one yeah that one so far you calculate the moment of local coordinate system right if you summarize these uh, three planes then you can get mx prime external equal mx external minus mz external u prime my prime external is this mz prime external is that now uh, so far you calculate the external the moment of a local coordinate system now you have to calculate internal moment so m prime uh, internal moment equal uh, if you look at this one this coordinate system internal moment uh, this direction the moment direction like that so this is minus e i x v2 prime how about m i prime internal let's look at this one the moment apply like that against this axis like that but local y axis is some um, opposite direction so it should be uh, minus should be added okay so minus minus so plus okay e i e i y u to prime regarding some horizontal plane so moment direction like that against u right horizontal displacement is u so if you consider this curve should be apply this direction but y prime axis is opposite so uh, minus ci u to prime and opposite so minus minus so plus that is sign convention so e y e i y u to prime so mz prime internal equal it is same it is some um, uh, saint vinant torsion and warping torsion against uh, torsional moment this uh, external uh, moment and internal moment must be identical so this term and this term must be identical this one equal to this one this one equal to this one from that relationship uh, you can get this one this equation is it true yeah because here uh, what is uh, your mx external mx external value is here yeah, that is your mx external mz external is this one so that equation is input here max mj okay and then this equation equal to this one then you get this one as the same way you can get also this equation and this equation so here u m u is displacement so it is small displacement this one also small displacement small displacement multiply the small or displacement prime that is angle small times small becomes very very small so we can ignore so we can cancel out this term to zero this one also same u m the small deflection times a small slope can be canceled out then this one uh, this behavior a uh, vehicle vertical displacement okay double prime is curvature that is in plane bending equation and then if you see this equation it is related to lateral displacement and rotation lateral displacement and rotation term so these two equation uh, they are correlate so these two equation represent lateral torsional buckling so from our uh, equation two and three using the same way at the last lecture uh, we can get uh, this resulting equation e lambda 4 prime gj lambda 2 prime blah 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 like that it is the differential equation for concentrate load cases and then uh, let's uh, look at that uh, approximate mcr mcr you know the relationship simply supportive beam moment equal pl04 why so mcr equal pcr l04 crcr CR at the same way so it can be this mcr can be written by cb times mocr do you remember what is mocr mocr is this moment moment when this beam uh, causes lateral torsional buckling that uh, light time the moment is m o c 
OCR. Okay, MOCR. Now we are looking for some this case, right? Uh, can be written MOCR times CB, CB times. That is MCR. So based on your knowledge, what is the bigger? MCR between MOCR. MCR is bigger. How many times? CB times. That is relationship. So uh, MOCR, MOCR equal pi over L root 2 E I Y G J root 2 1 plus W square. At the last lecture, I cover uh, this equation. Uh, so you know MOCR. If you know CB, then you can get MCR. So CB is a b a a divided by b for these three different cases if the load applied at the bottom fringe c b equal a times b if load at the shear center equal just a load at the top fringe a divided by b then what is a this one what is b this one so what does that mean load applied at uh, bottom fringe that means load applied here at the this is bottom fringe this is a shear center this is a uh, top fringe if load applied here and external moment become larger if the load applied here of this section at the bottom then you have the smaller uh, mz external what is mz external remember here if you see yeah, that one, that is MZ external. So if I draw here your H section, either yeah, slope like that. Yeah, this P location, P applied here, right? So if we see this section, this one, this section. So P applied here at the top. Then you have a bigger MZ external. You have the uh, big torsional moment against uh, Z axis right because you have larger u if p apply here you have the smaller eccentricity so it affect uh, mz external so the location where the load apply is influence mcr because cb is different do you understand cb is different corresponding to loading point so let's look at figure 5.18 yeah this one like that if p apply at this bottom m external becomes smaller then your pcr your mcr is function of this one it goes up like that if applied at the top okay it is severe case you have a large external moment against z axis uh, then your uh, buckling strength decrease like that at the shear center somewhere in the middle that is the result so lateral buckling strength also uh, is related to some loading point at the section let's finish uh, this lecture mm -hmm.